Well, boys, today we're going to SEMA. Well, the farm's some equivalent of it, at least. So, yeah, we're going to SEMA today. Now, if you guys don't know what SEMA is, basically, it's a massive truck show and car show, and there's tons of different cool stuff there. So, uh, we're going to be heading out there in a little bit and checking out all the cool vehicles. By the way, if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by giving that like button a little tap. It helps out the video a ton. And I appreciate it so much. And you know, while you're at it, you know, you could subscribe. We're trying to hit 200k by the end of the year. And we're super dang close. So subscribing helps a ton. But we're going to get headed out there in my 2022 F350. Got this sucker all lifted. It looks good. But it's probably going to be nothing compared to uh, what we're going to see out there. So I'm excited to get out there. Should be a good time. Hold on. Got to grab some diesel and snacks first. And something tells me this is the place. If that ain't it, I don't know what is. That is, a, that is a fair amount of trucks. Look at how many there are. Yeah, they got a fair amount out here this year. Well, let's go find somewhere to park and uh, we'll go check that out. So this is SEMA. Well, the farm sim equivalent of it, at least. I know what you guys are going to say in the comments. Well, this looks nothing like SEMA. Well, it is farm sim after all, and we can't recreate everything perfectly, but... I figured this would still be fun. You know what? I think we're actually going to go start on the other side here. See what they got going on. I do know quite a few of the guys that own trucks out here. So who knows? Maybe they'll let us take some of them for a drive. Got a Jeep on tracks. Couple toys. Man, Jake should have come here with me. He would have absolutely loved this. I feel like I need to bring this home. But I know what you guys are going to say. Well, Austin, that's probably not for sale. Well, anything's for sale at the right price. And I'm sure I can probably give him the right price for this thing. Limited F350. Is this bagged or is this on an any level? Oh, yeah, that's on any level. So the guy was nice enough to raise the truck up for us. This is pretty cool. Maybe, just maybe, I should get an any level set up on my F350. That'd be the way to go. First gen Dodge, duly no less, on boggers. That's a beast. Chevy mud truck. This kind of looks like uh, Cletus McFarlane's truck. A little bit. Not quite. A few little differences, but you know, looks pretty dang close. Wouldn't this be sweet to take in a mud bog one of these days? So the conclusion I've come to is I either need to build one or buy one. Not quite sure which one to do yet. I'm kind of curious. Of course, excluding the monster truck, because, uh, well, that's just a monster truck. Which truck is the tallest out here? It could be that uh, banana ram over there. That, it, that legit looks like a banana. Or it could be this one. I think this one actually might be the tallest. This is just huge. I can't, I can barely even touch the mirror. It's that tall. Look at the clevis they got on this thing. What are you going to tell with this? Who knows? Maybe it's got power. Six door Ford come and swapped turbo diesel. Oh man. Is this a rig? I wonder, does this thing even have like a practical everyday use? Like, do you just use this as a daily driver or what? Like how to even turn corners? We're going to go check out my buddy's truck there in a minute. It's that uh, red and kind of grayish Dodge over there. It's super tall. He said he'd let me take it out for a drive. So we'll go check that out in a minute. This looks like some kind of a jerry-rigged excursion. Actually, it looks very clean and put together. But I think this is a 2020 front-end clip or front-end swap or whatever on uh, some boggers. Uh, is it? Is it tooted? Is this squatted? Eh, kind of. Could have bags on the back, I guess. Those Forgiatos, those are... Those are four G autos. Not gonna lie, the color actually looks pretty solid on this truck. They ain't got much for shocks on the back though. That's uh, uh, I don't know if you'd be towing anything with this thing. Man, this is a sick ram. Honestly, if I didn't have my F three fifty, I would probably have something like this. And then another ram, um, which I have now dubbed the banana ram. <laughs> this, oh boy. Yeah, I don't know if this would be my first pick for color, but uh, you know, each their own. It's unique. I'll give them that. On bags, no less. Wow. Crazy big truck. Well, just had a chat with my buddy that owns this truck, and he said he's going to let me take her out for a little bit of a ride here. So this is the old first gen here. Of course, all lifted, all done up to the nines. I think it even has rock lights, but uh, we're going to take it out for a little bit of a drive. Let's just fire this thing up. I don't know if that rolls enough coal yet. <laughs> that rolls too much coal. I think we had a button here. Okay, that's enough. That's uh, some pretty crazy loud bass. Well, I guess let's take this thing up for a little bit of a ride. Look at the rock lights on this. Oh, this is sweet. Uh, don't mind me. I just rolled coal on that person. Oh, man. They got to not be happy about that one. Oh, I got to build me one of these. This is sick. Move it or lose it. We're going 120. I didn't even know this truck could do that. That is way too fast. Look at this spider web kind of design on that back rack. That is just crazy attention to detail on this truck. Well, surprisingly enough, we didn't wreck anything. Uh, uh, we're just going to pull in here. Do not enter sign. Yeah, whatever. That car almost rear-ended me. Trust me, bud. That step could cause a lot more damage than you think. Eh, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go over this. Yeah, part of the road. Oh, I didn't even notice. This thing has wheel lights, too. What doesn't this truck have? 
a proper hitch. <laughs> oh, buddy said I could just leave the rock lights on. He wanted them on anyway, so. And does that look good? Board six by six. I wonder if he'd let me take this one out for a drive. Definitely tall, that's for sure. Stretched box. Where's, hold on. Wait a minute. Where's the other wheel well? <laughs> There's no other wheel well. Where did it go? It's not there. Oh man, that's funny. Super six, huh? Pretty sure this is super six. I could be wrong though. Oh, this is Patriot. Uh, no, never mind. That's the tire brand. Was pretty sure this one was super six. I'm curious, who would win in a tug of war? The Ford or this Ford? Uh, yeah, I guess they're both Fords. So super six or super six, which one? Except this one's got six doors and it's got a flatbed. Well, someone left their wiper blades on. Not gonna lie though, the purple doesn't look half bad. I kinda like it. So apparently he just lowered the bags and it does that. Oh no. Oh no, this is this is SEMA, man. You're not you're not supposed to do that. That's not allowed. Oh, that is oh, gross, gross. What was that? Oh no. Oh, so you get one squatted truck and they all follow suit. What the heck? What? He just hit the curb. <laughs> what? Oh no. Oh, he hit the curb again. Again. Dude, you can't see where you're going. What the? Oh, he knocked over the stop sign. He knocked over the stop sign. Where is he going? He can't see anything. What the heck just... What did I just witness? <laughs> what was that? I have no words. I don't even know what just happened. He knocked down a stop sign. That poor stop sign. Oh, man. Now oh, we can try to prop it back up here. Anyway, um, back to looking at trucks, I guess. <laughs> oh, boy. I like the kind of blue color on this truck. It makes it look pretty good in the sunlight. Kind of stands out a little bit. Only thing I would have went with is a little bit of different rims. I don't know. There's just something that rubs me the wrong way with fuel chrome rims. I don't know. It's just there's something, something not quite right about them. Unless they're these kind of rims. These look good but i'm pretty sure these are kind of custom ah yes the lime <laughs> oh boy his, his tailgate's kind of broken i think pretty clean though got some uh, sort of bogger style tires on it looks like almost a bit of a work truck to be honest the gmc 2500 this sucker i i don't know something seems wrong about like how much clearance this thing actually has it does not have a lot it has next to nothing actually but this is buddy's haul truck guy that owns the uh dodge that he let us drive and i think he's gonna let us drive this one too he needs more spacers it's not wide enough yet let's go uh take this thing for a little bit of a drive see if we can find that stinking squatted truck oh there he is parked up on the corner it's a nice little truck though not too bad it'd be pretty dang cool if it was on an any level lift though oh man does this thing fly we are cruising right now i hope there's not a cop up here we are screwed but we are cruising <laughs> okay all right i need to slow down slow it down slow it down slow down Whew. that's a little too fast for even me well we'll put buddy's truck back in its parking spot that's a fun ride this thing's uh, a little faster than i thought it would be to be honest Oh boy, someone decided they wanted to bring out the big guns. Oh man, I bet this thing is fast. Mustang GT500, it's a Shelby. Oh man, got the drag slicks. Yeah, that's not road legal. I bet this thing rips. Okay, so don't ask me how, but um, I get to take this thing for a drive. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be fast. I am barely tapping on the throttle. I am trying my hardest not to absolutely send this thing to the end of the field in a ball of fire. So uh, yeah, we're gonna take it on the road here, be a little bit cautious. I don't wanna break anything. You know, considering this car costs probably more than my truck or probably like four of them. We're just taking her easy to start. Oh yeah, we're cruising now. Oh man, is this fast. That speedometer is not right. We are going almost 200 right now. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. It didn't even feel that fast. That's crazy. So supposedly, if you step on it, this thing is supposed to do a wheelie. We're going to try that. The owner said it was okay. And yes, it does. Okay, yeah, I, I do not need to keep driving this. I am going to break it. Yeah, this is not safe in my hands. Oh, boy, we're doing more wheelies. Well, I think that is about going to do it for SEMA. We had a good time, went out and uh, drove some trucks, seen some squatted trucks, just about broke a car that cost more than like four of my trucks. So that's good. You know, had a good time. Even though this is nothing close to the real life SEMA, I still wanted to do this because I thought it'd be a cool opportunity to kind of show off all the trucks that we've used through the uh, course of the channel. As of course, FS19 is coming to an end, but going into FS22, I'm sure we'll see a lot more cooler trucks. Speaking of FS22, it's less than three weeks away. So if you guys want to pre-order your copy, 
and get some cool pre-order bonuses. There's a link down in the description and anything I get from that goes back into giveaways for the channel and we'll be giving away a bunch of copies of FS22 to maybe those who can't get it once the game is out. But anyway, guys, that's gonna be the end of the episode for today. If you did enjoy, smash that like button. Also, if you're new, consider subscribing. Hope y'all enjoyed. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank, it ain't that long, till I'm back at the farm. I'm pulling up the truck, down at the dock, it's time to do some cruising, baby, get a little stuck, it's a Saturday joyride.